There are occasions when polynomial long division will leave us with a remainder that we need to write a little bit differently when we give our conclusion to a long division problem. Here we have 6x cubed minus x squared minus 5x plus 4, all divided by 3x minus 2. One thing you'll want to check, and we haven't experienced this in any of the other examples, is that all of the terms inside of the division decrease in order of their degree. So it goes from 6x cubed to x squared to 5x to 4. Polynomial long division necessitates that they are written in that order. If they're not written in that order, you just have to simply rearrange the terms so they are. Same thing goes for the binomial, trinomial, whatever that is serving as your divisor. You want to make sure that this out here is also written in decreasing order of power. Regardless of how many terms are on the inside or on the outside, the division is going to work the same. We're going to check this lead term against this lead term to get started. And to go from 3x to 6x cubed, we need an additional 2x squared. Multiplying that 2x squared by the binomial on the outside, we get that 6x cubed, which is the intention. We're always going to look for that first term to disappear. And then 2x squared times negative 2 is minus 4x squared. Subtracting that binomial from the original polynomial, 6x cubed minus 6x cubed goes away. Negative x squared minus negative 4x squared leaves us with 3x squared, and we bring down the next term. Now we check 3x into 3x squared, and that's just an x. Multiplying that x by 3x minus 2 out here again, we get 3x squared, which is what we intend, and minus 2x. Subtracting all of that leaves us with nothing from the first subtraction and negative 3x from the second subtraction. We bring down the 4 again, following our procedure. 3x into negative 3x is just negative 1. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. And again, we'll subtract that line. First term will disappear. 4 minus 2 leaves us with 2. We know we have reached the, the remainder in a polynomial long division when the degree of the divisor is higher than the degree of what is down here. We were still able to do a division in this line because the x is matched. We were able to do a division in this line because we had a uh, first degree binomial as our divisor and a second degree binomial right here. But as soon as we get to a point where the degree of the divisor is higher than the degree of what's here, we are done. So two, as the leftover amount, will serve as our remainder. Now writing out this solution is a little bit tricky. We know that this, trinomial that's up here would be our device or our quotient. But we also have this extra concern of the remainder. So when we write the solution, we need to write it as the trinomial, which is what we got from the actual division, plus the remainder out of the divisor.